Hey Pit Monsters, what is up? Today we're going to be grilling up a pork tomahawk, but it comes with a sword. Normally I start out with, look at this beautiful cut of pork that I've got, but we're not going to start with that today. Today we're going to fire up our barbecue and start working on our sauce first. So we'll put in some commodities, your big block, we'll light that up and put the chimney starter on top. Now let me tell you the story about this sauce. It's a cranberry sauce. I lived on the island of the Schelling and they grew cranberries there. And they're like, I don't know, they got this fleshy flavor and texture and I didn't really appreciate them. Cranberries are not indigenous to the Netherlands. They come from America and they probably dropped off some freighter, came to the island and then started blooming there. They had large fields of cranberries on the island and they basically put them in anything, liquor, jam, sauces, everything was cranberry. And it really put me off. But we are going to make a sauce with cranberries that will taste good. And actually the one that changed it for me. I do love how these cranberries look. Nice red and shiny. Look at that. I'm going to set up my grill for direct cooking. Put the charcoal in, put the grill grate on top and put on the pan. I want my sauce to be fruity, I want it to be sweet, and cranberries not necessarily have that effect. They're healthy, they're a little bit fruity, but not very fruity. So what I'm gonna put in is like one big jar of juice. And this is apple strawberry. Nee, apple framboos, apple. Google, what is framboos in het Engels? Google doesn't even want to tell me <laughs> what. Uh, let me think then. Raspberry. That's it. See? I just put my mind to it. We're going to put this in and let it reduce by half. In the meantime, we are going to prepare the rest of our ingredients. I'm going to start with these little, little, tiny, whiny shallots. I'm going to peel them and then put them together with our juice into the pan. We'll take the zest of one lemon. I want to sweeten things up a little bit, so I'm going to put in some honey and a little bit of syrup. Now you can use beetroot syrup, pancake syrup, any kinds of syrup that you like. We also want to add a little bit of that warm, wintry flavor, so we'll add two star on these pots. It's been around 20 minutes or so. Our sauce is reduced heavily, and now we can add our cranberries. Cranberries. Cranberries? Cranberries. 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 This is gonna be another thing. That's something on the side, I wanna make some garlic mushrooms. So we'll start by slicing fine these giant chestnut mushrooms. Then we'll chop fine the garlic. I'm going to put my pan on the stove, put in three tablespoons of olive oil, then we'll put in our garlic. Let's see how far our cranberries are. Mm. Mm. Nice and sweet, they just need a little bit of salt and pepper. Our garlic is looking good, it turns soft, it's time to add the mushrooms. Now let's taste our cranberry sauce. Oh, so hot. Mmm. Oh wow. The salt and pepper really bring out that fruity flavor. Time to take it off the grill. This really smells amazing. Now it's time to start working on the star of our show. We've got a beautiful tomahawk from the Lifa Heritage Pig. It's got great marbling. Look at that intermuscular fat that's in there. This looks really, really good. With this cut, the pork skin is still on. We're going to take that off. Just slice it off. We carve into the fat cap and then put some salt on it. Now let's put this beauty on the grill. I want to keep my eye on our pork tomahawk, making sure that it doesn't burn, so I want to rotate it as well. Because I'm looking for that Maillard effect. We're not there yet on the desired temperature, but the outside crust looks good, so we'll move it over to indirect heat. Our mushrooms are almost done, they just need a little bit of seasoning. First, some salt and pepper. I also want to add some fresh parsley and some fresh chives. We'll put this back on the stove for just a minute or so just to get those spices to blend together. Our pork tomahawk reached a core temperature of 52 degrees Celsius, and we're going to take it off the grill. And if you're wondering, why not 63? Then watch my beef versus pork video. Boy, look at that, what a beauty. Ooh, juice is dripping and running. 
Wow. We'll put some tin foil on top and let it rest for five minutes. The five minutes are up, time to slice into it. Whoa, brother, this looks so juicy. Before we're gonna slice into this, we're gonna put some salt on top. Wow, look at that. Look at how juicy that is. Oof. Just crazy. I intentionally cut my pork chop like this. This makes for a perfect chewing bone. Let's put some beautiful cranberry sauce at the back of this pork tomahawk. And then on the side, some garlic mushrooms. And for sure, we'll put one star anise on top. Oh, the fragrances of this dish come together so well. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Now we need to try. I wanna go straight in and take a piece of everything. A little bit of pork. A little bit of the cranberry on top, mushrooms, there we go. Mm. It's got that winter game sensation. It's like a, I don't know, like a warm drink in the winter time. You get all these cinnamon, star and these kind of flavors, garlic of the mushroom, and the pork goes really well with this sauce and these side ingredients. Oh man, these garlic mushrooms, you can wake me up for that. Mm. So tasty. Now let's do another taste test on this pork. Mm. This pork is so tasty, so juicy. The outside crispened up, really, really good. Mm. Now it's time for our cranberry sauce. Wow. Mmm, that is shooting for the stars. And if you're like me and you didn't like cranberry sauce or you don't like it right now, make this sauce. You're gonna absolutely love it. It's freaking amazing. So tasty. Mm. Wow. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video or recipe. And if you did, then leave me a big thumbs up and a comment down below. I wanna say a special thank you to all of our patrons. You guys freaking rock. And uh, I hope to see you guys next time. Until then, it's makkelijk and keep on growing.